dear listeners today we are discussing about marketing research in today's topic we'll explain that what is marketing research we'll understand why and how marketing research is conducted we'll try to enumerate the various sources of information on market related activities we'll discuss dear learners those who make decisions on marketing matters need information relating to the market like for information about consumer competition trade distribution system so thus marketing research is related to the collection of such kind of information if we define this marketing research this can be defined as the systematic collection and analysis of data relating to the marketing of goods and services different scholars have defined it in different ways noted scholar philip copter described it as i quote systematic problems analysis model building and fact finding for important decision making and control in the marketing of goods and services i add quote thus marketing research is the systematic gathering recording and analysis of qualitative and quantitative data about issues relating to marketing products and services the goal is to identify and assess how changing elements of the marketing mix impacts customer behavior this involves specifying the data required to address these issues then design the method for collecting information managing and implementing the data collection process after analyzing the data collected these results are findings including their implications are forwarded to those empowered to act on them market research marketing research and marketing are a sequence of business activities sometimes these are handled informally the field of marketing research is much older than that of market research although both involve consumers marketing research is concerned specifically about marketing processes such as advertising effectiveness and sales force effectiveness while market research is concerned specifically with markets and its distribution two explanations given for confusing uh, market research with marketing research are similarity of the terms and also that market research is a subset of marketing research further confusion exists because of major companies with expertise and practices in both areas dear learners let's have a look on the purpose of this marketing research and the purpose of marketing research has to be clearly defined data gathered through marketing research will by definition the research may be limited to a specific problem or deal with a very comprehensive topic covering all the manifold facets of the markets and marketing operations providing the basis for making decisions in marketing strategy for example at the macro level the government of india may arrange for a study of tourist in the india and other countries their distinctive profiles and preferences to develop suitable national policies on tourism on the other hand the manager of a particular attraction may want to know what facility he has to invest to match the needs of the visitors broadly the purpose of this market research may be either any one or two perhaps all of the following like to plan more effectively to give satisfactory explanations for events or experiences to identify problems and provide solutions etc it is related to practically everything in the modern competitive environment and the purposes can be manifold while conducting marketing research the emphasis is on objectivity for example determining the facts as they are instead of individuals hunches on what the facts are or are be 
For example, those who are in the business think that they know everything, whereas the professional check and ensure that information is reliable and authentic. Completeness, the availability of total data. This is ensured through a proceedings in a systematic and planned way and avoids looking at only certain segments. Reliability. This depends on how the research is designed and structures. Characteristics of this marketing research. Dear learners, first marketing research is systematic. Thus, systematic planning is required at all the stages of the marketing research process. The procedures followed at each stage are methodologically sound, well documented and as much as possible planned in advance. Marketing research uses the scientific methods in that data are collected and analyzed to test prior notions or hypotheses. Experts in marketing research have shown that studies featuring multiple and often competing hypotheses yield more meaningful results than those featuring only one dominant hypothesis. Marketing research is objective. It attempts to provide accurate information that reflects the two states of affairs. It should be conducted impartially, while research is always influenced by the researcher's research philosophy. It should be free from the personal and the political biasness of the researcher or the management. Research which is motivated by personal or political gains involves a breach of professional standards. Such research is deliberately biased so as to result in predetermined findings. The objective nature of marketing research underscores the importance of ethical considerations. Also, researchers should always be objective with regard to the selection of information to be featured in reference text because such literature should offer a comprehensive view on marketing. Research has shown, however, that many marketing textbooks do not feature important principles in marketing research. Now, let's have a look on what is the scope for research. The scope for marketing research is very vast, specifically in tourism, and covers every constituent or elements of the tourism industry. Whether it is the government, travel agency, airlines, hotels, tour operators, tourist transport operators, guides, escorts, etc., and even non profit organizations, all can benefit from marketing research. Every ought to study consumer behavior, consumer demand and attitudes. Moreover, they have to understand the competition, the characteristics of the market, promotion, campaigns, impacts, etc. Each one of the constituents of the tourism industry contributes in some way to the total experience of the tourist. Hence, each one would like to know how it is contributing to the tourist satisfaction and how they may enhance satisfaction. Each one may also like to know about the contribution or performance of other elements to develop synergy within them if possible. If they could go through such information in the hotel before venturing out into the market, they could have made better choices on where to go and save time and efforts. Tour operators may have to research and collect information on changes related to the environment like political, social, legal, economic or technological places of visit, facilities, therein, infrastructure available, etc., profile habits and interest of the tourists. In this marketing research, we come to know about the sources of information. The information required for decision making would be available in the records of the organization concerned and this is called marketing information. The records elsewhere in publications, trade, information, etc. This is called secondary data. The collection of primary data is fieldwork. 
persons will have to be contacted either individually or in groups. They may be just observed or thought to seeing responses to questions, hypothetical situations and pictures and images. Dear learners, all the 1.6 million tourists coming to India from abroad have to be contacted if complete data is to be had about the tourist preferences and experiences. This is impossible. The practical method is to contact a much smaller number. So, chosen as to be representative of the total population of the tourist. The small number is chosen for research purpose based upon various sampling techniques validated by the statistical theories. The total number of which the sample is a part is called the population or the universe. The sample is representative of the population or the universe. There are different methods of sampling which you people will study in due course of the different sessions under this course. Dear learners, let's understand that why marketing research is important. The economy being competitive, with each passing day, it is important for businesses to know and understand preferences of their consumers. Conducting research is one of the best ways of achieving customer satisfaction, reduce customer churn and elevate businesses. Here are some of the reasons why market research is important and should not be ignored by any of the company or agency. It provides you the information and opportunities about the value of existing and new products, thus helping businesses plan and strategize accordingly. It helps in determining what the customer need and want. This marketing is customer oriented and knowing the customers and their needs will be going to be helpful for businesses designing the products or services that best suit them. By understanding the needs of the customer, businesses can also forecast their production and sales. One of the most difficult aspects for a production manager is to keep inventory stacked. What is the requirement of how much should be produced to fulfill the needs of the customer? Marketing research helps in determining optimum inventory stock also. The stay ahead of competitors, market research is vital to to carry out comparative studies. Businesses can devise business strategies that can help them stay ahead of their competitors. Now, what can be the benefits of an effective marketing research? Dear learners, please have a look. Make well-informed decisions. The growth of an organization is dependent on the way decisions are made by the management. Using market research techniques, the management can make business decisions on the basis of result obtained. The back their knowledge and experience. Market research helps to know market trends, has to carry it out frequently to get to know the customers thoroughly. Gain accurate information. Marketing research provides real and accurate information that will prepare the organization for any mishap that may happen in the future. By properly investigating the market, a business will undoubtedly be taking a step towards and therefore it will be taking advantages of its existing competitors. Determining the market size. A researcher can evaluate the size of the market that must be covered in case of selling a product or service in order to make Profits. Choosing an appropriate sales system. Select a precise sales system according to what the market is asking for. And according to this, the product service can be positioned in the market. It will help to learn about customer preferences. It helps to know how the preferences or the taste of the clients change so that the company can satisfy preferences, purchasing habits and income level. Researchers they can determine the type of product that must be manufactured or sold based on the specific needs of the consumers. Marketing research will help to gather the detail about the customer perception about the brand. 
In addition to generating information, marketing research helps a researcher in understanding how the customer perceives the organization's brand. Analyze customer communication methods. Marketing research serves as a guide for communication with current and potential clients. Productive businesses investment. It is a great investment for any business because thanks to it to get invaluable information it shows researchers the way to follow to take the right path and achieve the sales that are required. Marketing research tips for businesses. The tip one, define the objective of your research before setting off your research quest. Think about what you are trying to achieve. Next, be your business. Are you looking to increase traffic to your location or increase sales or convert customers from one time purchases to regulars? Figuring out your objective will help you tailor the best or the rest of your research and your future marketing materials. Having an objective for your research will flush out what kind of data you need to collect. Here's a tip number two. Learn about your possible customers or target customers. The most important thing to remember is that your business service a specific kind of customer. Defining your customer strength has many advantages like allowing you to understand what kind of language to use when crafting your marketing materials and how to approach building a relationship with your customer. When you take time to define your target customer, you can also find the best products and services to sell to them. You want to know as much as you can about your target customer. You can gather this information through observations and by researching the kind of customers who frequent your type of businesses. For starters, helpful things to know are their age, their income, what do they do for a living, what's their marital status and education level. Tip number three, recognize the knowing who you serve helps you define who you do not. Let's take a, an example from copywriting genius Dan Kennedy. He says that if you are opening up a fine dining steakhouse focused on decent food, you know right off the bat that you are not looking to attract vegetarians or biters. Armed with this information, you can create better marketing messages that speak to your target customers. It is okay to decide who is not a part of your target customer base. In fact, for small businesses, knowing who you don't cater to can be essential in helping you grow. Why? Simple. If you are small, your uh, advantage is that you can connect deeply with a specific segment of the market. You want to focus your efforts on the right customer who already is compelled to spend money on your offer. If you are spreading yourself thin by trying to be all things to everyone, you will only dilute your core message. Instead, keep your focus on your target customer, also known as niche marketing. Define them, go deep and you will be able to figure out how you can best serve them with your products and services. Tip number four, learn from your competitions. This works for the brick and mortar businesses as well as internet businesses because it allows you to step into the shoe of your customer and open up to a new perspective of your business. Take a look around the internet and around your town. If you can visit your competitor shops, for example, if you own a restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine, dine at the other Italian place in your neighborhood or in the next township. As you experience the business from the customer perspective, look for what's being done right and wrong. Can you see areas that need attention or improvement? How are you running these things in comparison? What is the quality of their product and customer service? Are the customers here pleased? Also take a close look at your market segment. Who else is patronizing their businesses? 
are they the same kind of people who spend money with you by asking these questions and doing in person research you can dig up a lot of information to help you define your unique selling position and create even better offers for your own customers now the tip number 5 get your target customers to open up and tell you everything a good customer survey is one of the most valuable marketing research tool because it gives you the opportunity to get inside your customers head have you ever remembered that some feedback may be very harsh or take criticism as a learning tool to point you in the right direction creating a survey is simple ask questions about what your customer thinks you are doing right and what can be improved you can also prompt them to tell you what kinds of products and services they would like to see you add which gives you amazing insights into how to monetize your business more many customers will be delighted to offer feedback you can even give customers who fill out surveys a gift like a special coupons for their next purchase what does every business need market research market research is one of the most effective ways to gain insight into your customer base competitors and the overall market the goal of conducting market research is to equip your company with the information you need to make informed decisions it is especially important when small businesses are trying to determine whether a new business idea is viable looking to move into a new market or are launching a new product or service we read below for a more in depth look at how marketing research can help small businesses competition according to a study conducted by business insiders 72% of the small businesses focus on increasing revenue conducting research helps businesses gain insight into competitors behavior by learning about your competitors strength and weaknesses you can learn how to position your product or offering in order to be successful small businesses need to have an understanding of what products and services competitors are offering and the price point customers many small businesses feel they have an understanding of their customer only to conduct market research and learn they had the wrong assumptions by conducting research you can create a profile of your average customer and gain insight into their buying habits how much they are willing to spend and which features resonate with them additionally and perhaps more importantly you can learn what will make someone use your product or a service over a competitor another benefit of marketing research is opportunities potential opportunities whether they are products or services can be identified by conducting marketing research by learning more about your customers you can gather insights into complementary products and services consumer needs change over time it is influenced by new technology and different conditions and you may find new needs that are not being met which can create opportunities for your business another benefit of marketing research is forecasting a small business is affected by the performance of the local and the national economy as a risk customer if consumers are worried then they will be more restrained when spending money which affect the businesses by conducting research with consumers businesses can get an idea of whether they are optimistic or apprehensive about the direction of the economy and make adjustment as necessary for example a small business owner may decide to postpone a new product launch if it appears the economic environment is turning negative dear learners let's sum up this whole topic in this topic we have learned about the marketing research about its definition about the various characteristics of the marketing research and why it is important 
because marketing research is very very important in understanding the market in understanding the business intricacies in understanding the product development in understanding the product positioning in the market and in understanding the feedback mechanism so we can conclude in saying that marketing research is a very 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 important activity in a business scenario even we if we take the example of the tourism understanding the customer and understanding the destination understanding the attractions it is it is very 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 important the tourism works on certain a's like one is attraction one is accessibility one is accommodation and one is amenities so firstly if we wish to take a certain kind of the marketing search we need to identify the attraction if a place is having a religious attraction then why not to target a specific religious market i'll quote one more example of the post covid scenario for india in this post covid scenario just imagine the main market for india are us and uk but both of these countries they are really affected with the corona crisis so now india has to think about exploring the new market so thus if we are having a detailed description of the our market only then we can make a new product we can launch a new product in the market and thus we can survive our business thank you very much for your attention